Well, today I've uh, finished a project which has been on my mind for some considerable time um, on our peg casings. Um, and as you may know, we're quite fussy what we do. Now, in the past, we've always tried to use the earlier type of casings. These have a very large metal plate that locks in to the adjuster ring that fits in here. Um, we even go to the point of having our own made. Um, these casings are becoming troublesome to find. Um, they're now quite old. They probably stopped doing these particular ones in around about the 90s and the earlier ones uh, are getting tricky to find. So we've been looking at Land Rover's other offering uh, which we call a flat cap case and instead of a, a whopping great steel plate that goes in there they offer this very small um, hollow roll pin which from an engineering point of view a roll pin is not designed to hold something here that's trying to basically unwind itself on each side and we've seen these shear off a lot uh, and bend and we don't like it now uh, a clever ex diff builder uh, Steve Hanworth of Crown Diffs um, he came up with a, a possibility of a, an improvement he didn't like it either so what he did was he drilled out um, the cotter pin and threaded it and put a five mil bolt in there um, and that is a, a huge improvement but the problem you've got quite often, and if you look closely, is they're not even central. So when you put a bolt in there, uh, we've actually seen on here the pin break off, and on these, the actual whole lump of cast breaks off, because it's just not enough. Um, and if I look at the other side, that's actually more central. So real Land Rover quality is its finest. But one of the good... But one of the good things about these casings is Land Rover um, came up with a collar that locks in. And this is off one of these diffs and these collars uh, lock into a, a similar hole at the bottom here and it stops shuffling. And shuffling is where it can do that. These don't because they're locked in. So that's an, actually an improvement. So our problem was to get rid of this and we finally come up with an answer which allows us to use these type of locking ears on these types of diffs which also have these locking collars collars in the other side of the diff on that one but you can see it's quite a significant uh, spring-loaded collet that, that locks really well into these base bits so we think that whilst we'll continue using these as long as we can find them on our peg casings especially the ultimates where we bore out the, the nose to put the bigger bearing we're going to convert these with the collets to something even stronger than that there and we'll show you what that is in a minute now we do use these flat cap casings we use them on our standard builds um, this one is a 20 year old uh, RD128 that has come in for a big rebuild. Um, we've cleaned it up, repolished all the gears, polished the casing. Uh, we put a brand new Antonio Mazzario uh, 3.54 <laughs> crown wheel and pinion and one of our clamp kits because we hate this copper pipe over the top and that basically turns it into a Jew's harp and stops it waggling about and breaking. Um, this would not be now any unpegged case, we would send this out. Um, and on something like this, which in the nicest way we would call a sort of play day locker, this will be someone with a sort of 200, 300 TDI, uh, 285 Insta turbos, bit of green laning or whatever, doesn't want the cost of a peg casing, hasn't gonna abuse it like challenge and, and competition vehicles. So no need for a peg casing. So we would fit this or this person could now also have an upgrade, which we will show you all. So here we have one of our peg casings. 
here we have a flat cap we've taken the pin out of there um, when we TIG weld these up and we paint them um, the TIG welding seems to dry even after the aqua blast cleaning dry out even more and they get this surface rust at a touch of a touch of the slightest bit of damp and we're going to convert this into our new uh, long nose pegged casing upgrade so we've cut the uh, the little pin off and we've cleaned all this up ready for our conversion um, these have to be done by hand they're different every time um, but we've sort of worked out how to do it um, what we have is a wonderful CNC uh, plate uh, which you can see here um, and this being CNC this comes out bang on what we want every time uh, these seem to vary casing for casing so it's a matter of getting this to fit that and then we have little ears here that we're going to TIG weld in um, now these have been made so they're actually slightly shorter uh, than the actual unit so when we weld them we've actually got that's not quite in properly Let's try again Right, that's now pretty much in. It will be when we hammer it. But as you can see here, we've got a half a millimetre shorter on the peg. So when we TIG weld that, um, although it's welded properly, it will be flush. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take this to the next stage, uh, TIG weld that up, and then we'll show you how it goes together. So our CNC plate is then clamped right down with the normal bolts. Uh, it's then TIG welded in four places. We've, we've made little uh, little grooves inside the plate so we can TIG weld it into position and bear in mind that this is Domex uh, 700 MC um, otherwise known as uh, styrene um, it's amazingly strong it's expensive as well because it's a it's a very special steel um, Domex 700 MC this is three mil that is three times the structural strength of mild so that three mil there is like I've just welded nine mil of, of plate on and these top pieces here that are welded in from underneath they're four mil so that's the same as having 12 mil towers so this is incredibly strong unfortunately uh, CNC or not we have to do some tidying up on these to make them look pretty fied um, because we're a bunch of tarts here and that's just not nice enough so let's show you one that we did earlier as they used to say in blue Peter showing my age bye for now hang on so here it is all finished this is a tab lock dash locker this is our Domex uh, CNC um, flat cap conversion um, that is our own uh, made locking ring made out of CR80 equally tough we don't even bother with the standard cotter pin that's a 5 mil uh, 12.9 grade allen bolt with a lock nut holding it in so that lock is absolutely solid that's not going anywhere we've also upgraded with our standard ultra build you've got m12 um, allen bolts with nordlock washers and that little bundle of fun there that is our upgrade so this customer here or future customers can say yes please Nige we'd like to go from that and we'd like to have a pair of those put on we can do it to your existing case um, even if it's pegged or not pegged we can upgrade it um, but this will be a new optional extra on both long and short nose casings short nose casings never had anything but the rather daft cotter pin on a three and a half ton vehicle with a trailer with a 90 on the back and the diffs held together with a pin mm. you choose but we've been at this for months and we are chuffed with the result i'm off for a beer bye for now